Hi guys, today I wanted to show you some cool features using Xtile Plus. Both features are present in Xtile Plus's master materials, however I will be showing one of them by building it using the material functions available to you in the project file. And we'll be checking the other one directly through the master itself. Here I have two materials, the one on the left is a very basic material made from textures downloaded from the Megascans library. And here is the material itself, as you can see it's a very basic setup. The one on the right is using the exact same texture set, however it does use the Xtile Plus's master material. So let's see what we can do with the same texture set using the Xtile Plus master. First things first, I want to turn on my grout visualizer and from here let's uh, adjust the grout width in the X and the grout width in the Y and we can also turn down the hardness so we have a little uh, softer uh, edges of our grout and once we've done that we can turn off our visualizer and turn on our grout as normal and as you can see we have a faint a normal um, uh, appearing and what we can do is of course increase the strength by um, adjusting the slider here and as you can see again we have a much stronger normal we could also uh, scroll down to the color variation section and also change the ground color from white to something uh, a little darker to make this um, uh, grout pop out pop up um, a little more from here what we can do is we can adjust our pattern to other configurations by adjusting the uh, columns and rows so for example we could uh, come in here and adjust the columns um, and um, we can also readjust our grout if we needed to we could uh, adjust the overall tiling we could uh, use the slider we could uh, also uh, adjust the brightness uh, jitter and the min and the max we could of course always use our random seed and we could also come down and for example add perhaps some dirt to the overall mix and let's see the difference between the two. As you can see what we've done is we've created something entirely different um, from the same texture set and um, this could be very handy uh, for uh, various situations. I have uh, also um, made two more examples uh, just to show you what uh, is possible using the exact same uh, texture in both cases. Uh, I hope you found this example useful and now let's move on to the next example where I'll be showing you the material atlas that we will be creating using the uh, material functions in Xtile. In this example, we will be looking on how to set up a non-repetitive texture atlas material using Xtile Plus's functions. There are 33 material functions in Xtile Plus's arsenal with plans to increasing them in the future. Here I have a basic material showing you the texture atlas that we will be using. So let's create our material and name it something like atlas. Let's open it up. Let's first drag in the textures that we will be uh, using. And then let's also drag in one of the functions that we have here in the palette section. Um, and the one we want is the Atlas Quads. So with that, the first thing I would like to do is create a tiling uh, parameter for our material. So let's just uh, quickly do that. Let's uh, call this tiling and let's change the default to one. And then the other thing that I would like to do is add some static bool parameters. We need four, so let's copy this three times. Right, so let's uh, rename them. Upper left. 
this one upper right this one lower left and lower right the upper left one will be our default so let's change the value from false to true and let's keep the other ones as they are and just hook them up the other thing that I would like to do is change the sort priority numbers so that they all appear in the same way in my material instance and with that I want to introduce a DDX and a DDY node and this will help in our MIP mapping so I want to apply it to both the albedo and the normal so I'll change the mode to derivative and simply hook these up like so and then the other remaining thing to do is simply to connect the uh, atlas quad function output to our textured UV input and let's connect these to our material and this should be it so here we've created a basic atlas material let's save it and see how it works so let's uh, close it and let's come in here and let's create a material instance and let's apply it to our first quadrant and if I open my instance I can tile that part of the texture let's do it for the remaining uh, quadrants so we can see how it looks so let's come here let's select it let's select the upper right and let's do it for the other ones create material instance and the lower left and one more created our, our basic uh, atlas material uh, we can uh, as you can see uh, tile our material the way we want which is independent uh, from one another from each quadrant uh, the problem however is that we haven't solved the non-repetitive uh, tiling uh, issue that um, is introduced by just simply tiling a texture However, since Xtile Plus is a non-repetitive tiling material, we can easily fix this. So let's go back into our Atlas material and come here and introduce another function, which is the random uh, geo function. In addition, uh, we could turn, uh, in, uh, drag in a world align um, uh, texture uh, UV as well so uh, this is not something we need to do but uh, I can show you uh, how easy it is to just simply uh, hook these up so let's um, bring this guy up here let's connect the tiling to our texture this guy up to here so let's delete these guys and then directly take the UVs into our DDXDY and now all we need to do is connect the UV output of our random geo into the input of our Atlas quads and all we need to do now is set up some parameters that we will be using so let's start with insert rows let's try um, insert columns um, let's change these values first from 0 default to 1 let's um, use for example no, um, rotation let's uh, random seed could also 
also try something like slide row. There are of course other parameters, but we, I am not going to uh, use them at the moment, but you're more than willing to set them up. So let's uh, save this. Let's go back into our instance here and see what we can do. So the first thing to do is of course change the uh, columns and rows that make up uh, part of this uh, texture. In this case uh, I have a 2 by 24 uh, texture and of course I can increase or de decrease the tiling. I can play with my sliding I can rotate this I can randomize it as I wish and of course as I said if you added more of the parameters you'd have access to them as well so for this I believe the numbers here are 6 to 16 we could um, rotate this right, 25 we can slide it we can increase the tiling and of course we could play with the random seed we can do the same for this guy so this is a 5 by 5 and we have a random material let's do it for this one too this is a uh, 6 by 3 and again you can tile this or you could um, slide oops 3 yeah. we can rotate it as I said, you have access to all of the parameters that uh, you want to hook up. So, as you can see, we have created a um, non-repetitive atlas material using uh, the functions available in Xtile Plus. I hope you like both of these examples. If you want to stay in touch with any future examples, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your projects.